welcome to this week's Figure It Out. And we will have a Figure It Out in this week. Uh, but last week we did something a little bit different. We actually um, had y'all talk about the strangest thing you ever found. And we got some really good uh, comments down there. And we have, I told you, we'll have two winners this week. One that had the most likes, and we got that. And we'll do a random drawing for a winner. So, let's talk about some of the responses we got. Pretty cool stuff here. All right. All right, we're going to start off here. Not the winner yet. We're going to start off a couple. Uh, Jenny Walborn had, had a little strange one, but it's really cool. She had, uh, I know it's not quite what you had in mind, but I did find this. My mom asked me to look in her ear because she felt something or heard something in it the day before. I get a flashlight look and lo and behold, I see this little beady eye staring back at me from inside the ear. Man, ugh. she had a spider in her ear. Man, that's, that's not something you dream, put in your nightmares, man. And she freaked out to say the least. And Sally, I can tell you that a vacuum cleaner not suck it out. Eventually, I had to pull peroxide in her ear, and it came flying out. No happy time for her, but we did have a good laugh after it, after it, it was expelled. Jenny, I appreciate that, because just in case it happens, now I know what to do. Hydrogen peroxide. I like that. That's, that's a trick there. All right, we got Team Black Diamond Outdoors. All right, this summer detecting the sand area at a park, I found a Ziploc bag with dark brown substance all smeared inside. I, ooh, you know, when he said that at first, I said, mm, that don't sound too good. Finally saw a little gold shimmer mixed in, like gold. Can you guess what it was? A bag of chocolate gold coins all melted. <laughs> Boy, if you had seen that big old gold coin in the sand, you would have really been freaking out. All right, uh, Billy McD. Hey, Gigmaster. The strangest thing, this is really cool here, I ever found was a voodoo doll in a jar. I was a kid about 15 with my wife. XLT hunting with my dad in a park near some big old pine trees. Had a solid hit at about six to eight inches or so and dug up a, a glass jar intact. The lid was rusted and couldn't see what was inside, so we cracked it open. What a stench. All sorts of weird herbs and things and a small homemade doll with pins in it. Voodoo doll was so weirded out, we put it back in the hole and buried it. Man, that's some freaky stuff there, man. Somebody was uh, after somebody there, I think. All right, and the winner is James Burrell. A few years ago, while deer hunting, I found a human skull and bones. After the Georgia Crime Lab did a DNA test, it proved to be a man that had been missing for six years. Ooh. That's something you don't want to find in the woods, is it? Man. Well, well. anyway, we got James Burrell wins there. So now we got to figure out who wins the random drawing. Are y'all ready to check the random drawing out? Let's check it out right here. All right, here we have a YouTube random comment picker. First thing we do is put the YouTube video URL, URL there. And no, we don't want any uh, duplicates. And that's all we're going to do to limit the uh, selections we're going to do. And now we're going to draw all the comments into this program. The next thing we do is start the raffle and pick a random winner. So this thing here is sorting through. I'm going to pick one winner right now. And the winner is Angie Does Stuff. Congratulations, Angie, on being the random winner for this episode. Thanks for joining us. All right, let's uh, get back to our regular program here. All right, congratulations, Angie Does Stuff, Random Drawn, and Jane Perrell for winning. I got a couple of masks. And, and the stickers for y'all, y'all send me your um, addresses at gigmaster2718 at gmail.com. And we'll get that out to you. All right, well, i tell you what we'll do this week. I got another um, figured out. It's where in the world is the Gigmaster. This is, this is going to be a kind of cool one. I'd love to tell you about this, this place. But... Um, before we get into that, let's talk about the rules of the game right here. All right, everybody, I created this episode of Figure It Out just for fun. Take your mind off the world and all your troubles and try to figure it out. And what is Figure It Out? Well, this is a little thing what I'm going to do. I'm going to provide you with a picture. Now, the picture could be taken with one of my digital microscopes, where I got two of them. One goes from... Um, 
up to 300 times, 0 to 300, that one goes from 500 times to 1,000 times. So depending on which one I use, I probably won't tell you which one I use unless I give it to you in a clue. Um, but we'll talk about that in a second. But anyway, uh, things look totally different when you when you magnify it down. It's crazy how much difference it makes when you look at, oh yeah, that's a so-and-so. But when you magnify it down, you only see a little piece of it, you don't always know what it is. And I'm, and I'm still evolving too. Sometimes I may do where in the world is the gig master. And I have a picture showing an area. That might be one too. Figure it out. Um, so anyway, it's evolving, just having fun, getting y'all to kind of figure it out. And y'all been really good. Um, some of the previous ones I've done, man, two hours somebody's got. But I did do one and it took a little bit longer sometimes. So it was a lot of fun uh, doing that. Um, and, the, and the prizes will change. Um, Sometimes if you get the right answer, you'll get a gig master or like maybe a face mask or maybe a, maybe a relic. I don't know. We're kind of evolving on that too. And a sticker too. I got some gig master stickers here. Could get a gig master sticker too. But uh, and sometimes what I'll do is just do a random selection winner. That way everybody can has a chance instead of trying to rack your brain, you just kind of just have fun. So I will do some random selections and sometimes I do both. So, uh, yeah, we're just still evolving, having fun. See what we can come up with. All right, um, let's see. A um, couple more things real quick. Uh, one guess. Uh, I look, one guess unless uh, I add another clue. After 24 hours, if nobody's got the correct answer, I will put another clue down. You don't have to risk your first clue uh, and your first answer. You just put the second one down. No problem. Somebody had asked that question one time. Um, but anyway, I think that's going to do it. Uh, one answer. Uh, Got to be in the U.S. so I can mail your prize out. Got to be in the U.S. because uh, it's way crazy trying to mail overseas. Um, anyway, I think that's going to... One answer per person. And those of you that go on adventures with me that might know the answer, you you cannot play because I might be saying, hey, I'm going to use this in one of my episodes. You all remember it. You all get it. So I can't can't do that. And I'm, I want your answer to match my answer pretty much the same. Uh, you know, it could be reversed words or something, but it's got to be almost identical to what I'm looking for because sometimes multiple answers can be right, but you got to get the gig master's answer. All right, well, I appreciate everybody uh, playing along with me, and I hope you have fun doing it. You've been really good so far. All right, let's move on to the episode right here. All right, are y'all ready for this week's Figure It Out? I'm going to put a picture up here right now, and it's going to be a picture that you can tell it's kind of a little cabin. And uh, I'm not going to give a lot of clues because y'all are really good. I can't give you too much. No clues yet. But if I don't, if nobody gets it within the first 24 hours, I will put another clue up. Um, I'm only going to show you a part of the uh, cabin because if I show you too much, you might get it right off. But uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully this one will last a little bit longer. It's a really cool thing. I would love to tell you about it next week about it if nobody gets it. But I know somebody will eventually find it because I'll keep giving clues until you can get it. But anyway... There's a picture right there. Um, I'll try to put a couple more at the end of the video too, so you can kind of get a couple more pictures of it. Now, and the answer I'm looking for is the city and state it's in. That's all I want to know, because if you know that, you'll, you'll know what it is. So, oh, that's too much of a clue right there probably. But anyway, anyway, see if y'all can figure it out. I appreciate everybody uh, coming along on my video. Don't forget to click like, comment below, share. Subscribe to the Geekmaster, and here comes some more pictures. Thank you.